Hey, it's Sean from Alpina, and today we're going to be doing an installation on this Task LED 9s in this recreational vehicle. Let's go over all the components you get in the box. First, we'll start with the instruction manual. It tells you everything you need to do to do this installation. We have some mounting hardware to mount the light to a mounting bracket and the bracket to your vehicle. And we also have some electrical connections. However, today we're going to be using the Alpina Install Kit Plus, which has everything you need to safely install two lights in your vehicle. It comes with an inline fuse, a relay, a lit switch, and plenty of cable. One more modification we're going to make is today, since this vehicle comes with rocker panels and we make some great rocker switches, we're going to be using one of our rocker switches instead of the included lit switch. Now, let's go over all the tools you're going to need for this install. First things first, always wear some protective eyewear whenever doing an install. Next, you'll need some wire strippers with the ability to crimp. You'll also need some basic tools for fastening the lights to your vehicle using the included hardware. We recommend a socket and combination wrench. While not necessary, using some zip ties to keep your wiring clear of hot or moving parts is always a good idea. That's all you need to install these lights. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is a test fitment. You're going to want to put the light in place where you intend to put it and make sure that it doesn't interfere with the normal operation of the vehicle or in the sight lines of the driver or passenger or bang into any of the bodywork or rub. So with this light here, I originally intended to put it right here, right on top, but I really do feel that this, this height now is really getting in the way of the passenger. Um, I'm not a big fan of underslinging this particular type of light. So I don't think that would work. I think that's gonna rub on the body panel. So it looks like my original plan isn't a very good one. It's not gonna work here. So I'm gonna to have to look for a different place in the vehicle to hang this light. Now we have to make sure that our wiring harness is long enough to reach the battery box. First thing we're gonna do is just pull this out. Here's the battery connections. So we need to ensure that we have enough lead to reach out to our lights out front. We have enough length to our switch. And then all the cable that we have left has to be long enough to reach the battery compartments. Now we have enough room to get clear access to the battery. We have a place to install the relay over here and enough room to run our wires over here. So we are good to go. Now we're gonna prepare our wiring harness by installing our connective hardware. An important note, if you're only using this install kit to install one light and not two, you need to make sure that you have properly sealed and covered the ends so that there's no possibility for these two to connect and cause a short. But for us today, we are installing two lights, so we'll use both. So you can remove the cap, insert into the plug. There we are, using the blue on the crimp Give it a squeeze. Always give a pull. Make sure that that's on there solid. Now we'll do the rest. And we give a little crimp. And crimp. Crimp. Solid, solid. We're ready to go. Before we start messing with the power, we need to disconnect the battery. Check your owner's manual for the proper procedure to disconnect your battery safely. Once the battery is safely isolated, then we can go ahead with routing our power lines and connecting them to the battery. Next, we will install the switch into the blank spot, feeding through the hookup first. There we are, switch is in. Remove the fairing and fish the line for our switch. I'll remove the cover to the center console with these two bolts here. Now that I've removed the bolts up here, I can come back here, take this out, and remove this piece of plastic. And I have to take these out, these plastic pieces out, so that I can run the cable through the side along the end to come into here. And we have to feed these lines through the side of this fairing. So we'll lift up that fairing, run down the lines, 
And there we go, there's our light switch. And now our switch is connected. Leads from the lights will go into the fairing hole and on the other side, we'll hook up this power so that the power and all the cabling stays underneath the cowling, out of the way, and we have a nice clean install. We will now connect our wiring harness to the vehicle battery, starting with the positive lead. Next, we will attach the ground lead to the negative terminal of the battery. And uh, the other thing I always recommend is take your fuse out. Um, you don't want to actually have any of these wires running live until you know everything's installed properly and hooked up right, and then you can put your fuse in at the end. Done. This is all back together. Reinsert our center console. Now we'll clean up the loose wiring with a zip tie to ensure everything is secure and out of the way of any moving parts. Reinstall the fairing, feeding the connections for the lights through the vent holes. And run the light connections up the center support. And then we're ready to attach the lights. To prepare the light, we need to attach spade connectors to the end of the wires. After crimping the connectors, give a tug to ensure a strong connection. Now we're ready to install in the vehicle. Mount the lights using the supplied hardware. Always start by hand before using tools to avoid cross-threading. Keeping everything finger tight will allow for adjustment before tightening down with tools, ensuring a perfect placement and direction. Lastly, we'll use zip ties to keep all the wires firmly in place. That's it, let's try them out. 